Hello everybody. So in the last lecture we have covered and we have learned a lot of things uh, especially about uh, templates for, for our pages in WordPress and also we converted mm, uh, in like static images to our dynamic images which of course we can have a dynamic URL of our site and also we have uh, developed quite a lot of pages uh, if I check my website here yep and everything was working perfectly now in today's lecture I am going to cover <coughs> the main topic that how the client or any non technical user is gonna update the content of our website like like this uh, heading or the background image or these all sections and again everything like uh, I, I want to give the ability to our client or to our any of our friend who is whoever is gonna use our WordPress dashboard I want to give them the ability to make any changes to their content either it can be the, in textual form or it can be any image or for example a button um, I mean uh, right now we don't have any options uh, there like if, if we just navigate to our pages and then if I just edit our home page there's nothing here like uh, there's no option to make any changes to our content so what we need to do uh, first you need to redirect to add new plugin and you have to download ACF plugin advanced custom fields okay so just be here for a moment it's about to install okay what's that No problem. Sometimes uh, we face errors. We need to see what happens. Okay, let me just uh, fix it, and we'll get back to you. Okay, so I I didn't do uh, did anything. I I never fixed this issue. Actually, uh, it was due to a network issue. So I just tried. Uh, two to three more times to install it and it just worked and now you need to activate this plugin once it's activated you can see the ACF menu here so we need to create a few fields basically what ACF gives you the ability is to create different input input fields in our pages or it can be in our posts or uh, any custom post type like uh, of course we are gonna discuss that topic in our later videos so for now just focus on pages so for pages we need to have some field groups or like input fields so that we can uh, get some content from our client through that particular page okay so what you need to do uh, first create a field group whatever name you give it for example I'm gonna give it like home page data okay Uh, this is just name of our field group and inside of our field group we need to have different uh, fields like like uh, for example this is our heading this is our subheading this is our button and it of course ha also has a U uh, URL as well so uh, for now I'm just focusing on this our uh, on our banner area so we need to have one two and three in total of fields for for ACF so first let's just create one that is subtitle okay so I mean this is just your uh, field label which is gonna be uh, displayed in your home page and this is your field name which is like uh, it, it's uh, some sort of slug so that we can utilize that slug or that, that unique name in our code okay so I just created one field which is a text field okay you can define the uh, field type from here like there are many uh, field types so for now our text is uh, totally fine and then we need to add another field which is our title and we will leave it as text as well okay and create another okay so now uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create two new uh, input fields for uh, of ACF one will be 
our button title or like button text okay so I'm just gonna ask our client or our WordPress user that what text do you want uh, to appear here okay and the next will be our button URL okay and for URL we already have a URL field here okay for email we have email for numbers for password image of course we are gonna use the image uh, field as well and you have select boxes check boxes I mean uh, there are very uh, many varieties of those, those fields and also if we have ACF uh, pro version like uh, the paid version we can unlock those fields as well which are very very useful uh, especially the flexible content and the repeater okay repeater is the I mean the most useful uh, field of ACF so we are just uh, gonna focus on a simpler task for now and we will just uh, use the repeater field in our later videos so for now just make it to URL field type so that's it just click on save changes okay so let me just uh, move to home page now oh, I'm sorry okay okay we just missed one thing which is that we never defined that uh, this field group is going to display on which page so we need to uh, have we have location rules here that show this field group if we have a uh, different option here like post type post template etc and even the page type page uh, specific page but as you know we already have created our page template so I will just select that uh, show this field group if page template is equal to uh, our page template name which is home page okay so these all fields are gonna be used in our home page for now so like uh, we can have uh, multiple rules here like if you want to display those fields in other pages as well then of course you can also do that we will cover those uh, topics later on I'm just not gonna make you know, anything complicated here okay so let's just now edit our home page and we should see our subtitle title button text and URL okay so for now let me just copy this subtitle and also our title and the button text which is join us and the URL so I'm just gonna copy our home page URL okay that's it okay let's just update this page and refresh this one nothing is gonna work because because we never uh, did any changes to our code so let's just move to our code and those were the files we just uh, we were working in our last video so let's just close all of those files we don't need those for now okay so what we need to have is uh, the home page dot php and we have to have uh, work on our slider section here this one I mean this is the banner of course it's not a slider I don't know why uh, the designer put a comment here that it's a slider section of course it's not okay so let's just work on this one AC provides uh, different functions the main functions which are useful uh, are the field and get the field okay so I'm just gonna I mean as you can see that we for now we have content as hard coded in our uh, different HTML tags so of course client is not gonna be able to make any changes to his uh, uh, content of the website through code uh, of course he doesn't have that much technical knowledge so we are just giving him the ability uh, to use ACF and the ACF fields I mean whatever the data you are uh, gonna save here those are gonna be uh, saved in our uh, database and then through database what we need to do now we need to fetch those values okay so of course you need to open the PHP tag and close it and then we have a function as I said earlier the field okay and inside the field we need to pass one parameter which is the slug of that particular uh, ACF field so for now we have this subtitle okay so if you remember that for sub uh, subtitle we had a slug of subtitle okay this one the, the name field okay you can call it a name or a slug okay 
so i'm just copying this one make sure you always copy uh, uh, the slug or the name from here don't just uh, make any guess and then uh, just assume that it's a subtitle and it's you just go to your code and write subtitle maybe uh, there are some chances that you might make, uh, make any mistake in the spellings or sometimes the uh, special characters like underscore or hyphen so just always uh, make sure that you are just copying the slug from your acf settings okay so the next one is our title okay this one so i'm just gonna uh, click on this small uh, icon and this is copied and I'm gonna move here I'm just gonna remove everything from here and again I'm gonna use the field function with the parameter of our slug okay the next was button text so I'm just copying this one and button text is here and again we are gonna use the the field function so uh, basically we are just making our site totally dynamic that whatever the client gives data from their wordpress dashboard we are just gonna uh, fetch those those data and display in our code so of course inside the double quotes um, it, it might be the href attribute of a of an anchor tag or it might be the source attribute of any image so you you can always uh, start and end the php tag inside the double code so don't worry about that if you have if you don't have that much knowledge of php so i'm again going to use that function the field and pass the parameter of i mean which is our slug so that's it let's now move to our site and see if everything works perfectly okay so as you can see that the data is still here okay so let's just make some changes to any of our content and see if, if the changes are really working or not let's let's just say make it testing okay click on update and i'm just gonna come here and refresh okay as you can see the data is really being updated from our wordpress dashboard so now the data is not present in our uh, any in any of our html uh, tag okay so that's that's the beauty of acf the advanced custom fields so we can utilize uh, advanced custom fields and make a lot of different fields for our uh, different pages or different like posts or blog posts or or any any other custom post type so yeah i mean if i can do this one section of course everyone is gonna do those all sections as well so that's it for now this was just a an introduction for acf plugin and how we can utilize acf plugin to create different input fields for our admin panel uh, for different kinds of pages and then how we can display those uh, fields data from database i mean we can how we can fetch the data from our database and then display that data on our front end so basically i mean technically you can say that this section is now dynamic dynamic means this data is coming from database and in and uh, those fields are being used to insert the data in the database so technically you can say that this admin dashboard is now perfectly connected with our front end okay so that's it for now uh, we will cover uh, our next topic in in the next video thank you so much bye bye